Welcome to Cineguac. Today I'm going to show you how to stick text to moving objects in Adobe After Effects. This is one of the first things I ever learned in After Effects, and while this program may seem intimidating at times, I assure you this effect in particular is super easy and can be done in just a few minutes. So without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. First thing you want to do is drag your video clip to the timeline, which will create a new composition. Then, with your playhead at the very beginning, head over to your clip and right-click or control-click to open this little menu. From there, go to Track and Stabilize and select Track Motion. Let's just zoom in a little so we can see what we're doing. So, as you can see, we now have these little motion tracking squares right here. There is an outer square and an inner square and this little attach point right in the middle. The attach point is whatever it is you're actually tracking. The inner square is the feature region, which should surround a small but really visible and distinct area. And then lastly over here we have this search region, which is basically just the area that After Effects will search within to locate the tracked feature. You don't want to make these squares too big, or else it'll be way too difficult to follow and everything will just slow way down. At the same time, you also don't want to make them too small, or else After Effects won't know what the hell you're trying to track. So, you know, just try to be precise. Grab the tracker and find a part of your hand that remains relatively consistent throughout the clip. In this case, I'll use my thumb since it doesn't really move separate from my hand, and is pretty clearly defined within the frame. Ideally, I'd be wearing like a ring or have a tracking mark, basically just anything that's easy to track, but whatever, my thumb should be good enough. Adjust the inner and outer squares around the thing you want to track, and let's just zoom back out. Once everything looks good, we're ready to track the movement. Head over to your tracker and select the Analyze Forward button. Now your computer will automatically track the movement of your thumb for the entire duration of the clip. We can just speed through this whole part. Once the computer is done tracking, you'll now see that you have keyframes set throughout your clip. But now we have to tell the computer what to do with this tracking information. So head up to Layer and select New, Null Object. Go back to your tracker and hit the Edit Target button. Make sure the Null Object you just created is selected and hit OK. Then hit Apply. And you'll want to apply this to both the X and Y axis. Lastly, you want to create your title. Select the Type tool, click anywhere on the playback monitor, and type whatever you want. I'll keep it on brand and type guacamole. Using the Selection tool, position the title wherever you want on screen. Go to your title layer, and you'll see this little squiggly looking thing called a pick whip. Click it and drag to the null object. When you let go, your tracking info is now applied to the title. Play it through, and admire what you've accomplished. Isn't it beautiful? Now of course once you have the motion tracked, you can pretty much apply that tracking info to anything. Titles, objects, whatever you want. So here I have a PNG of a tortilla chip. I can just drag that right beneath my text layer, adjust the size and shape of the picture to look however I want, then just like before, use the pick whip to apply the tracking information of our null object. Play it all through, and now both the text and the title is stuck to my hand. Now we can take this one step further and add some nice natural motion blur. All you have to do is select the layer you want to apply the effect to, go up to Effect, Time, Force Motion Blur. You can increase the amount of blur to whatever looks good. Copy the effect and paste it on the chip. Now, both the title and the chip will have a nice naturalistic motion blur. Thanks for watching. As always, these videos take quite a while to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and support your friendly neighborhood Cineguac. Also, if there's anything you'd like to learn, let me know in the comments. I do my best to read and respond as much as I can. Until next time.